started the PRSSE series in 2001. The idea of the series came from Carlos Santana. Give me a guitar that is reasonably priced, hundreds, not thousands of dollars, that I can play on stage, I can record with, but also that my fans can afford and appreciate and learn what a good guitar is. Make me that guitar. From the very beginning, this was a project that was centered around a quality instrument. To make a PRS guitar is a pretty singular thing, you know, and you have to have our processes, you have to have our parts, you have to use our design elements to make a neck feel the way we want a neck to feel. But we operated in shared spaces. So we were in a factory where you'd pick up a PRS in one minute, you'd pick up another brand and another, and I always felt that if we had our own dedicated space, that we would be able to execute the plan a little bit better. So in 2018, through a partnership with PT Court, we were able to do that. And it showed in the quality of the instruments, it showed in the innovation we were able to bring to the series. The guitars had more PRS DNA in them than ever before. It allowed us to make things like the custom 2408, the Paul's guitar, the Silver Sky SE. Those guitars are punching out of their weight class, in our opinion. And what that means is you pick up a guitar and you say, that's a high value instrument. And it's a professional instrument and that's what we're shooting for. So if you fast forward to 2022, we found ourselves in a position where the world wanted more guitars than could be made in that original PRS PT Court factory. And what's very difficult is to increase your output and raise your quality at the same time. And for the past five or six years, that's been really on our minds. So PT Court built a new factory for PRS guitars, and that's what we're gonna have a tour of today. We're all very proud of what we've been able to achieve in the last few years as we've grown this project. You know, it's been a real team effort. And I think that's what's really special to me about this. We're always working together collaboratively in an effort to make the best instrument that we know how. Let's grab our passports, board a plane, fly to Indonesia, and take a factory tour. The PRS SE Electric factory in Indonesia is about 90,000 square feet. Around 500 guitars are made each day at the factory, which is located inside the PT Court compound in a very beautiful part of Java in Mojokerto near Surabaya. It takes about 400 guitar builders, a robust team of managers and engineers, and a high degree of focus and dedication to pull this off. Making a PRSSE means using different processes from industry standard. So as the business has grown and the guitars have become more advanced, it has become more and more important to have our own space. The building process starts long before we arrive in Indonesia. In Maryland, we design, prototype, and engineer the SE Series guitars in close partnership with the teams at PT Court and all of the companies that manufacture the components and parts that make up the guitars. PRS not only provides the designs for the guitars and components, we work closely with PT Court management and workers on processes and quality assurance. We visit the factory regularly and really look at it as an extension of our own shop. We communicate with the factory daily, and we meet on Zoom at least once a week. I often forget that we are a customer and have come to think of the PT Court crew as a legitimate part of the PRS team. Just as it is in Maryland, I look at making an SE electric guitar like making a meal. The materials and the parts are the ingredients, and the process is the recipe. We use several different woods to make the different SE electrics, mahogany, rosewood, maple, and ebony. In order to make the instrument stable and tonal, the wood is dried before cutting. For the lumber, this means kiln drying. For the fingerboards, a specialized vacuum kiln is used to dry the very dense rosewood so that it not only sounds its best, but also shrinks so that the fret edges are less prone to popping during the dry seasons around the globe. The first steps in the process take place in common areas inside the PT Court compound where the court team assembles all of the components. Inlays are cut, sorted, and packaged at the laser room. The lumber for necks and bodies are dried and rough dimensioned at the rough mill. 
Here, neck wood and body wood are planed, shaped, and laminated into blanks. Next, our fingerboards are planed to thickness. The female cavity is routed for the inlay material on a small CNC machine. The inlays and the fingerboards come together, and then the fingerboard is slotted to its appropriate scale length. Some models are bound with rosewood, which matches the fingerboards. Some are bound with plastic later on in the process. There are some details that vary from model to model. The SC Silver Sky necks are scarfed, the maple necks are laminated, and the mahogany necks are one piece. But in spite of their differences, they go through a very similar process once they get to the wood shop. When you walk into the main door of the factory, you enter the wood shop. The factory is divided by aisles that roughly call out the manufacturing processes. When it's time to build the body, the pallet is moved from the rough mill into the factory and staged at the first row of CNC machines. The first aisle is dedicated to making bodies. These are very large woodcutting CNC machines that have multiple heads and large tables that give the operator a chance to load and unload one set of bodies while the machine is cutting the other set. Tooling holes are drilled into the tops of bodies. Then the body is placed face down on the CNC. The belly carve and the back cuts are made first. Then the body is flipped over and top carves and perimeter cuts are made. Clear plastic templates are used to make sure that we avoid any defects that may show up later on the body. After the CNC cuts are done, the body is sanded with a dual action sander. Then guitars that receive plastic binding go through that process. Once the binding is applied, all guitars are sanded again on a stroke sander. The stroke sander is a very common and useful tool used in most Asian factories. In the early 90s, we had one in our shop in Annapolis and used it for quite a while. They're very useful on shallow carves or beveled bodies. We phased out the stroke sander as we lean more toward heavy violin carves. Guitars with curly maple veneers now go through the veneer process. We make sure that the top is sanded well, then glue is applied to the top of the maple cap. Making sure that the veneer is free of defects and centered correctly on the body, we lay the curly maple veneer onto the maple cap. The body is then put in a heat press, which has a contour that matches the shape of the body. Once the glue is set, the body is removed and inspected. If there are any spots where the veneer is not perfectly set, we go back by hand to address that. After the lamination process has been inspected and approved, we go to a pin router and trim away the edges, pickup cavities, and the neck joint. Just like the bodies, the neck blanks are brought in from the rough mill. The first step is to use a specialized planer to give the headstock its proper thickness. Next, we plane the back of the neck. Finally, we drill location tooling holes in the neck. These holes will accurately locate the neck on the CNC machine. Now the neck is ready to begin the CNC process. The necks are located face up and the perimeter neck shape is cut along with the cuts for the truss rod slot. If a neck has a bound headstock, that is done at this point. Then we locate the truss rod and add the truss rod insert, the same way we do in Maryland. Once the truss rod and the insert are loaded, the neck is put in a special machine where the fingerboard surface is leveled and any part of the insert that sits above the surface is removed. Now that the neck is level, we're ready to glue on the fingerboard. The fingerboards are carefully located on the neck using a scribed line. Glue is applied to both the neck and the fingerboard. The two pieces are carefully joined together and clamped. The completed neck dries thoroughly before unclamping. Now we're ready to carve the neck. We use several different carve programs depending on the model, but all are shaped on the same machine. This CNC machine is a smaller six head unit and is very accurate. A quality neck shape is one of the most important elements that a guitarist judges an instrument by. This is a good example of how we combine our resources using PRS Maryland Design and Engineering coupled with PT Court Manufacturing and R&D. Once the neck is carved, it's shaped by hand. 
All cutter marks are removed and the necks are carefully sanded in order to maintain a consistent shape. Once the entire neck is sanded, it's ready for neck body assembly. But just prior to NBA, tuning peg holes are drilled with a gang drill press. Making a PRS neck joint in our set neck guitars is a little bit of a tricky thing. First, we need to make sure that the neck and body come together with a snug fit. While the CNC makes the initial cut, each neck is mated to the body by hand. Just like in Maryland, we need to make sure the neck angle is correct. A proper neck angle is needed to make sure the bridge is at the right height off of the body and final setup is comfortable and within spec. Each set neck guitar is glued together and clamped for several hours. There are multiple cleaning processes along the way to make sure the neck joint is free from glue marks. When the guitar comes out of the clamps, it is final sanded and ready to begin the finish process. Bolt-on guitars like the Silver Sky follow a similar but slightly different path. The SE Silver Sky is constructed like the Maryland made version. There's a one-piece neck with a laminated headstock. Most of the processes are similar, such as truss rod installation, leveling and sanding, but the neck and body come together in the assembly area of the factory instead of in the wood shop. When the entire guitar is shaped, final sanded and scratch free, it starts the finish process. The instrument has a sealer coat applied to give subsequent finish coats a strong surface to bond to. If appropriate, a maple veneer will be stained. As with our Maryland guitars, we believe that a guitar should not only feel and sound great, it should look great as well. We work closely with the team at PT Court to develop the striking colors that accentuate the natural beauty of curly maple. This is another great example of how we rely on the craftsperson's eye because this process is really an art form. Once the guitar is sealed and stained, a base coat is applied with an electrostatic sprayer. As in Maryland, we strive to make the finish thin, hard, and clear. A thick, soft finish will kill the sound of the guitar, so if we've done our job well in the finish room, the guitar will come alive in your hands with clear notes and plenty of sustain. After the bass coat, the entire guitar is carefully sanded to make sure that the finish is flat and even, free of defects, and the shape of the neck has been maintained. After bass coat, it's time for color coats. Color coating is applied by hand. Sunbursts, opaque colors, and back and neck toner coatings are all done here. Bolt-on necks are also toned at this point. After color coat, we silk screen the Paul Reed Smith SE logo on the headstock face and the name of the manufacturer on the back. This is done to all PRS SE necks and has been part of our process since the SE series began in 2001. We always wanted to make sure the buyer knew where the guitar was manufactured and also wanted to give credit to our partners by having them put their name on the guitar along with us. From here, we're off to the top coat electrostatic spray room for final coats. Several thin passes of top coat are put on the bodies and necks. A sprayer is also positioned at each electrostatic machine to make sure any thin or dry areas are covered by hand. Once sprayed, the guitars go through top coat sanding and buffing. Every guitar is sanded to a high level using wet dry paper. After sanding, the guitars are run through a buffing machine, which takes care of much of the top and back body surfaces. The rest of the guitar is buffed by hand within two large buffing rooms. At the end of this buffing process, there is a careful review of the total finish of the guitar. This is similar to what we call turnaround in Maryland, a spot where we make sure the finish is perfect before passing the guitar along for assembly. After turnaround, we're ready for rounding, leveling, and fretting. At PT Court, this part of the process comes later than in Maryland. For set neck guitars, the body is placed in a protective bag, then located in a fretboard radius machine. Using dial indicators and levels, the operator makes sure that the guitar or the neck is level and parallel to the machine surface. The neck is then taken through a multi-stage sanding process where the appropriate radius is applied. 
The final sanding passes are with a very fine belt to remove scratches from the initial shaping. Once the fretboard is radiused, we're ready to fret the neck. Frets are glued, tapped, and pressed. Once the glue is set, each neck is leveled by hand. We have done a lot of training and teaching in this area, and we're very proud of this process. After level, the edges of the fingerboards are rounded and the frets are final polished. Next, the nut shelf is machined and the nut is installed. There are separate machines for bolt-on necks and for the various scale length models that we offer. That first fret string height is established by this machine, which removes the appropriate amount of material from the neck. Now we have a guitar that is ready for assembly, but before we go through that process, let's take a trip several hundred yards down the road to PSE. Here, pickups are wound, electronic drop-ins are wired, and pick guards for the SE Silver Sky are assembled. This is probably a good time to point out that the vast majority of the parts that go into the PRS SE Series guitars are proprietary. This goes back to the notion that making a guitar is based on fine ingredients and a solid recipe. These proprietary parts are the best ingredients for our instruments. Over the years, we've built a strong relationship with PSE, and similarly to PT Court, I think of this company as a partner more than a supplier. When the parts arrive at PT Court, we're ready to start assembling the guitar. Tuning pegs are installed on all necks, then bolt-on necks and bodies are joined together. Holes for strap buttons, trim claws, trim screws, and stop tail wells are drilled. All of these parts are put on the guitars in the assembly process. Once the parts are on the guitar, each guitar is set up to our specs, tuned, and the electronics are checked. We have tight tolerances for setup specs on SE guitars, which requires precision to get right. Our goal is always to have a guitar play perfectly out of the box, and we work very closely with PT Court to establish, maintain, and continually improve this part of the process, much like we do in our own factory in Maryland. Then, the assembler's name is noted, and the guitar is entered into the computer system. The final stop before casing is quality assurance. This is the most skilled and most experienced team at PT Court. Every guitar is inspected from top to bottom. All setup specs are double checked and every guitar is play tested. When the inspector is satisfied, they sign off on the guitar and log it as completed in the system. The guitar is then processed for casing, a barcode label is created, and the guitar is put in a gig bag and then into a shipping box. The individual boxes are then put in master cartons, labeled and prepped for shipping. A container is on site almost every day to receive guitars that will ship out around the world. We shot this video because we want you to see our reality. The devil's in the details and those details are important to us. And it's important to us to share that with you. I hope when you pick up your PRS SE Series guitar, you can feel, hear, and see a little better what goes into bringing these instruments to you. Thank you very much for joining us.